Welcome back to that tech channel that just makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Oh yeah, welcome back. We're glad to see you here today and tonight. Hey, all right, so what's going on? Welcome back, Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Elric, your insane host of the day. Now, what's going on? Well, it has been released. That's right. At least it's speculated that release that the new NVIDIA GTX 880 is going to be out. Featuring an all new GPU, it should perform even the old GK110. So with that said though, let's jump in and let's talk a little bit these specs about this new card from the folks at NVIDIA. So far, folks, it looks like the chipset in this car will be the GM204, and it's not supposed to be the most powerful Maxwell-based GPU at all. Judging by the way NVIDIA did this last time, this card's probably the entry level, and it's going to keep going up from there. So, let's check it out. This thing's based off the 20 nanometer GM204 silicon, features 7.9 billion transistors, 3200 CUDA cores, 200 TMUs, 32 ROPs, 256-bit wide GDR5 memory interface, 4 gigabytes of standard memory, 238 gigabytes of memory bandwidth, and the clocks are supposed to be at 900 megahertz core, 950 megahertz boost, and last but not least, the power requirements on this bad boy are supposed to be 230 watts. Now, this is really awesome news. I know people have been waiting for the 8 series for quite a while, and now we're seeing some leaked specs that could quite possibly be real. Now, our off-spot correspondent, Biff Baxter had the following thing to say when he heard this from his offshore location. Say what? So there you have it. Let's keep going. More stories coming up. Great news for gamers from the people over at Logitech. That's right. They have a brand new mouse in their G series line, the new G502 Proteus Core. Now this thing's supposed to be totally customizable for any type of user out that. Has all kinds of outstanding features, including one that's supposed to really stand out, which is this automated, customized thing. Whenever you change services, it automatically detects the environment you're in, bringing you the ultimate gaming. Now, with that said, let's check out some of the other features about this mouse, which will be hitting the market about 80 bucks later on this month. One of the big focuses in this mouse is customization fitting any gamer's preference. Along with the ability to adjust the mouse's weight using up to five 3.5 gram weights, the Proteus Core will also offer 11 customizable buttons for users to set up whatever macros they find useful, as well as the ability to set its DPI between 200 and 12,000. Another really cool feature is how this mouse is able to calibrate itself depending on the surface that you're using. So think about this. You change surfaces with your mouse, this thing will automatically recalibrate to give you the best performance on this mouse. So all right, folks, there you have it. The new G502 from the people at Logitech. Now their theory on this is that when hype fails, science wins. Like I said, this thing's going to be out 80 bucks. If you guys want to see all the information and all this stuff, make sure you guys check out our article over on our website, which will be down below the like button in that description. Next up, something from Sony. Let's check it out. The A7S, folks, is pretty big news for Sony. Well, why? Because it's their first still camera that shoots at 4K, and it also does it in almost absolute darkness. With that said, let's talk about some of the other features of this camera and why those folks who are looking for something in 4K from their favorite brand Sony, this is going to be something you're going to want to check out. The Alpha 7S was announced at the Low Key Nab Show in Las Vegas. The A7 is based off the same body found in the A7 and the A7R, but on the inside, the A7 is a bit different. The A7 houses a lower resolution 12 megapixel sensor, but it's still full frame. This 12 megapixel Exmor CMOS is combined with Sony's own Bions X image processor, giving a huge sensitivity range of ISOs from 50 to over 400,000. Now there is a slight little catch to this. You'll only be able to store 1080p videos on the actual unit itself. If you want to do 4K, you're actually going to have to use external storage, which you know, might thwart some people, but other people are going to be like, hey, that's cool. Like usual, for all the information on this, if you guys want to see pricing, availability, the whole story on it, pictures, all that stuff, we have that over on our website, www.techoftomorrow. So make sure you guys check that out. Down below that like button, which I know you guys are going to go mafia style. And and shoot, I'm just, you know, however you want to do it. You know what I mean? All the information will be down there in the description. You can check all that stuff out. Also, by the time you guys are seeing this, we will have announced all the winners to our latest contest. They'll be announced on our Twitter, on our Google Plus, on our Facebook. Now, I know there's some people out there taking the attitude like this. Social media. 
But listen, guys, you're going to have to join up. It's 2015. We're trying to be reasonable here. We've given you multiple things. All right, 2014, whatever. 2015, I'm looking for the future, man. You know, but you know, we're in the future. That's what I'm trying to say. So you should be using some type of social media somewhere. We give you a choice of multiples. All the information how to join those things for us will be down below as well in the description. I'm Elric. I hope you guys did like this video. Hope you like the idea of all these new products. Ooh, me personally, I really can't wait for the camera. I'm really looking forward to the mouse and I'm looking forward to that GTX 880. So this is three pieces of tech that I know I want to get my little hands on. See you guys later.